Welcome to Doodad Motorsports. I am Frank Ladd. I know, that's my last name. How you doing? Uh, in a previous episode, we, uh, Caleb and I, Caleb Duello, the other co part in the uh, series, has, uh, we, we took apart this engine. It came from the co part car, and we determined the uh, problems that we had with the, uh, this vehicle's engine. Uh, and now what we are going to be working on doing the same thing we did more of a detailed uh, breakdown in this one uh, we will just kind of do a time lapse in this breakdown just because if you want to see more of all the pieces that came apart in detail just check out this one however uh, we're just going to do a time lapse here i think i talked about already uh, and determine what failed in the engine at the race while I was driving it. So, let's go. recognizes you as infant okay so we've got the engine to this point we're pretty much at uh, removing the chains dropping the oil pan the secondary oil pan piece off but we we did notice already that there is lots of what appears to be bearing material in the oil pan which is something we definitely figured would be the problem but if you can see down in here, it's definitely coming out the crank area. And there's a chunk of it right, right there. So it's pooching out that section there. So what we had thought is happening, happened. Thank you.
All right, so anyways, we have the engine pulled apart. Uh, took a lot more work than, oh my gosh, I think I was filming over there. I was not paying attention looking down. Um, what we ran into or found, uh, we did talk in another previous video that whoever had guessed this failure, uh, we're gonna send you out a free t-shirt. Uh, the first one, not everybody, I guess. Yes, the first, the first person that actually comments and, and gets it right, you did get a free t-shirt, so thank you for participating. Uh, we, you get a wonderful t-shirt. So what was the failure? But the failure was a... Uh, this is one of the rod bearings. I believe the failure is actually a oil pressure issue and which caused the lack of go away anyways uh the lack of you know oil oil starvation and it, created the heat yeah. and caused the uh the metals to actually heat up and it didn't allow it to cool and then yeah so now we had it melting pretty much it got so hot it started melting the bearings outside of it uh, we got a good video of what yes this one yeah look at that we it, that is the number two rod and piston see yeah. how hot it got it Tons actually discolored smeared. the rod and they were all like that were they not mm-hmm okay. yeah they all did appear to have well, actually, one, three out of the four had color discoloration. And, uh, well, we had one. Okay, great. <laughs> Gosh dang kids, man. You gotta, gotta love them. Anyways, uh... Yeah, there's, there's a few stuck to the crank here, so I guess we'll see how that goes. We gotta knock those off there and get everything cleaned up and do some measurements and see what we can salvage uh, out of this one. I'm pretty sure I think what we saw in, a, in the last video is that we had some damaged rods and we were hoping to at least make one good one out of two before we had to get parts to make the second one again. So, like I said, I think we're gonna have to do some research and see what uh, uh, the tolerances are for these components that are damaged and then get some bearings and maybe we can make her a working engine and only need rods on the other one. So, I think that wraps her up. We're gonna, like I said, clean it up and move on to uh, the next. Well, yeah, the next, hopefully it's an assembly of the first engine. Um, we'll probably be trying to figure out what parts we have and go get that direction. We need to get, we need to get some engines together. Uh, we need to get back on the racetrack, so. Which is coming up sooner than later. Okay, have a good one.